Hello and welcome. So we're gonna start this series by going over how to install the Unity Editor on Microsoft Visual Studio because that's what's gonna allow us to develop our Timberland style game. We'll go over the steps on a Windows machine but in the next tutorial we'll see how we can do the same on Mac OS. I'm doing this tutorial on a Windows 11 system but the steps are identical on Windows 10 so there shouldn't be any changes if you have Windows 10. First, open up your browser and search for Unity and go to the download search result or you can go to this page directly using this address download the unity hub by clicking on this box the unity hub is what's gonna manage all of our unity releases and projects it's gonna make everything much easier to manage now I've already gone ahead and installed the unity hub and I'm assuming that you know how to install a simple program so I won't waste your time by showing you the installation steps so go ahead and open up the unity hub click allow access to use Unity, you need an account and a valid license. So let's create an account by clicking on Create Account. It will quickly take you to this web page where it will ask you to enter your account information like your email address and password. Once you've filled in this information and agreed to the terms, click on Create a Unity ID. If you create an account, it will either ask you to verify your information from your email or it will prompt you to open the Unity Hub from this page. If it's the latter case, then just do that. Since I already have an account, I'm just going to sign in using my credentials. Hit open link so that the browser can authenticate your account information inside the Unity Hub. If this is your first time running the Unity Hub, as I'm sure that it is, then it will prompt you to watch a video that shows you the different features of the Unity Hub. Let's skip this part. It will also ask you if you want to install a release of the Unity Editor. We'll skip the installation because we want to install it ourselves in a bit. Finally, it will ask you if you want to activate a license. We'll pass on that as well because we want to do that ourselves so that you know how it's done. Now click on the setting wheel from up here which will take you to the preferences of the Unity Hub and then select licenses from the left bar. Click add license to obtain a Unity license. Choose get a free personal license. Agree. Okay now we have a valid license. Now close the preferences window and go to installs to install the Unity Editor on Visual Studio. We want to click install editor and be sure to select the 2020 release because it's the most compatible with the widest range of specs also because it's the most stable release as of the making of this tutorial I guarantee you that everything we'll be doing with the 2020 release in this series is upward compatible and if for some reason it becomes incompatible then you can count on me updating the tutorials for this series promptly hit install now we want to be sure to install all the additional necessary packages like Visual Studio and Android and iOS support so that we can build our game for either platform and let's also download the documentation for Unity because we rely on it to develop our Temperland clone hit continue agree and hit continue same thing here agree and hit install now just wait for the download and installation to complete it could take some time depending on how fast your computer and internet connections are you can track the download and installation progress from the downloads tab once it's done downloading and installing we're ready to create our Temperland project Go to Projects and select New Project. From Core Templates, select 3D since we'll be developing our game in 3D. Choose a location for the project in a folder on your computer. I'm gonna save my project in a folder named Unity 3D. Then hit Select Folder. You can choose a different location if you like. Let's give our Unity project a name. I'll name it Endless underscore Runner. But you can name it anything you like. Now hit Create Project. And this is our scene, our virtual environment, where we're going to develop our game in future tutorials. So this marks the end of this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to start populating our scene with the bridge segments that the player is going to run on. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.